Hello everyone, my name is Ebenezer Mokwenchi and you are welcome to this video. So this is actually a quick update. There is an event or a news going on about Brazil. How are people are purporting that uh, they've done a carnival where the country or the people are mocking God. And uh, because of that, God has destroyed them with some flooding. Yes. So information reaching us is that there's, there's a man of God who actually... A Nigerian by evangelist who currently is doing ministry in Brazil. And so he actually, that man of God actually um, has actually updated us on the actual thing that is going on in Brazil. So what he said was that um, that flooding people saw on, I mean, the online platforms is, is, is I mean, an event that happened um, I think, I think 2021 or so, and the 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 the, the carnival too happened 2020. Yeah, so it's actually two different videos that bloggers has actually combined those two videos, and they are using it to to communicate some information which is not true. And and the sad thing is that <clears throat> there are some people in churches and stuff they use this same kind of story to uh, teach. I mean, talk about how that blah 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 so this man of god has actually brought some clarity to this this issue and i want us to just go into it after that i'll come back and give you my final word so let's watch the video by the man of god praise god my name is uh, evangelistic h kupita Najafo. i reside and do ministry in brazil i want to react to the video that is presently trending and the reason i am doing this is because it concerns the body of christ and i find something that is inappropriate something that is absurd you know happening in regards to this video i'm talking about the video that has gone viral consigning Brazil. Now, like I said, the reason I'm doing this is because I am a member of the body of Christ and I understand from scriptures that the church is the pillar of truth. And anything that is outside of truth does not represent the church or rather the church does not represent falsehood. Now, listen very carefully. That particular video that is trending right now was a video of the carnival that happened in 2020. In fact, that was the last carnival until the one that happened this year. Because after 2020, there was no carnival in 2021. There was no carnival in 2022. The flood that happened is a yearly thing. Now, bloggers concocted this video. They brought a video of 2020 to explain an event of 2023. That in itself is falsehood. And the reason I am doing this is because many people have made this the sermon in their churches. They have used it to explain eschatology. You cannot use falsehood to propagate truth. That video is blatant falsehood. For the fact that you are using an event of 2020 to explain an event of 2023 it doesn't rhyme it's not true now the second thing is this like many are alluding that because god does not have anybody in brazil no man is standing for god in brazil nature has decided to teach us a lesson in brazil that is falsehood that is fallacy now get this very clearly every time brazil does carnival the entire body of christ engages in a spiritual exercise all churches organize programs prayer program camp programs for youth and all that now the people that are doing carnival are a fraction of people a fraction of people will god neglect the 60 million Brazilians that are praying during carnival and attend to a fraction, 
microscopic percentage of people worshipping Satan, God will now leave 60 million Brazilians and destroy the whole nation on account of a fraction of people that are worshipping idol and doing an evil festival. Brazil is not the only country doing festival. They are the uh, carnival. Carnival, every country does. Every India is an idolatrous country. America itself is, a, is propagating morality. God is long suffering and patient. He has not destroyed all this country, and then He will destroy Brazil. So if we are alluding that, because God doesn't have anybody in Brazil, He's destroying uh, the flood came. The flood came because. That particular community in Santos is domiciled close to the Atlantic Ocean. And whenever rain comes, as minute as it may be, it overflows. And then that place experiences flood. Now, can I ask a question? Benway State experiences flood almost every year. Does it mean there are no men of God in Benway State? The kind of evil that happens in Nigeria is even it, it's triple of what the flood that happened in Brazil. Boko Haram meme women rip them of their child in the womb, kidnapping everywhere, bloodshed everywhere. People can't even travel. So all these things are happening in Nigeria. Does it mean there are no men of God in Nigeria? In Jeremiah chapter 5, God said, if I can find a man, I will pardon the whole nation. Let's be careful. That video was in 2020, and the flood is a yearly event. It has no relationship, no correlation. No relationship at all. So the church should not propagate this falsehood. We shouldn't preach this. It's a lie. There are Brazilians that love Jesus. Over 60 million Brazilians are evangelicals and they love Jesus. They organize every time there is carnival. The church is doing a program. So God will not abandon his people to attend to a fraction of people that are doing carnival. Please be guided. Share this video. That video that uh, is just concocted by bloggers to make money. And that's all. Unfortunately, we have made it our sermon in many churches today. Sad. God bless you. Yes, so I hope you actually saw what he's saying. So please, um, as Christians, when we see these kind of issues... Let us do our possible best to make sure that we verify the information before we start purporting it that it is God who has done this, blah, 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 blah. I always keep saying that God does not punish people for what they do. He saves them. So even if a people, I mean, in, in Brazil are making mockery of God, the anger or the wrath of God wouldn't be that he kills them. No. God is... That's not how God does his things. The people that God wants to save them because they are sinners. Now they've sinned against God and God is killing them. It doesn't even make sense. So please, when we see issues or information like this, let us do our best possible to actually verify the information very well before we start flying them around. I hope this video was a blessing to you. Please, this is Christocentric. This is a quick news update, so we will be Get you more updates of Christian news that comes our way. Once again, my name is Ebenezer Mokwenki, and watch out for more videos. Kindly share this video to someone and let it educate them. Thank you. Bye.